Hi, it's Mary McDonald here for week five of psychology class number two, I guess. Okay, so this week's prompt was nature versus nurture, which is once again a really good and interesting prompt. Good job, Flitwick. Okay, so I thought a little bit about this one because I guess it wasn't really something that I had put too much thought into prior to receiving this prompt, which is good because, you know, psychology is supposed to make me figure out more about myself. Um, so yeah, I thought that I would just kind of split the video up like usual and maybe kind of talk about the facts that I think nature has on people. Okay, so um, obviously genetics are a pretty big part of who we are. I am no science major <laughs> at all. But from what I remember from my high school biology classes, um, is, you know, pun in squares, alleles, all that kind of stuff, um, you get your traits from your parents, right? And not only physical ones, but also a lot of personality traits are passed genetically. Um, and also things like mental illnesses, etc. can also be passed genetically. So, um, genetics and nature, I guess, definitely do have a very big effect on who you are as a person. And now it's time for Mary tells you stuff you really didn't need to know, but now you do. So that's cool. And this week's topic is, of course, facts about heredity and genetics, and then some facts about the way love affects us. Fact number one. The basic laws of heredity were discovered by an Austrian monk, Gregor Mendel, 150 years ago. If I remember correctly from my biology class in high school, um, he had something to do with pea plants in the way they change. Okay, sorry, I, I don't know anything. Fact number two, if you unwrapped all of the DNA in your cells, you could reach the moon about 6,000 times. Whoa. Fact number three, it would take a person typing about 60 words a minute, 50 years to type the human genome. We're pretty complicated. Fact number four, safe, cohesive, child-centered neighborhoods slash communities and villages really matter for early childhood development and can have a big effect on how the child sees the world. Early childhood development is one of the things that the World Health Organization looks at as kind of a cornerstone of human development to see if societies are successful or not. So it's pretty important. Okay, so now on to love, right? Um, or nurturing. I think that your kind of home environment you grew up in can have a big effect on who you turn out to be. I mean, there are some exceptional cases like Sirius, who was able to really just be their self, um, despite the fact that their family didn't really accept them for a lot of things, um, which is really unfortunate, but I think they pulled through pretty well, and it does show that the way you're raised does not entirely make you, but I do think that a lot of people are greatly affected by the way they're raised. I definitely know some people who kind of just do things because it's the way their parents did them. Um, and that can be positive or negative, I think. You, it can make it hard for people to really think for themselves and instead just kind of go off what they learned from their parents. I was really lucky growing up with my family. Um, my parents were always really supportive and loving and you know, we had our disagreements, but um, they definitely helped me be who I am today. And I'm uh, nowhere near perfect, but I don't think I'm that awful, so... Yeah. Um, basically, in conclusion, I didn't have too much to say about this topic, but I think both nature and nurture are really important in creating your personality and the way you handle things. Um, yeah, genetics and love are both really cool. Thanks, see you next week.